What's up guys, Johnny here. And Mari Fangirl 83. We're about to uh, explore for Retro Gaming Expo. Hope you guys enjoyed the grips. We might play some games and stuff, but we may not play a lot of cause, because it takes away a lot of time for playing a full game, but we'll play at least 10, 15 minutes. We might put the scene, but we're not sure yet. Oh yeah, I'm so damn excited for the Expo because it's the day today. Yeah. All right, we'll see you guys there. See you there. All right, guys, we're here. We're on the Retro Gaming uh, Expo. This is like my first time visiting. Right. Look at all the games. Yeah. Okay, so I'm doing my best to give myself a building, so... Uh, yeah, they have a lot of games. I always want to come here. This is like my first time. All right, guys, so I may not record every scene, but I will record some scenes like that that interest me. Really crowded, of course, so that's why I just want to stay behind. Alright. Dreamcast, PlayStation 1, Super Nintendo, and Original Nintendo, yeah! And hey, look at all the games, they're amazing. Yeah, this is the frames for retro games. This is what they had last year when I went with Matt. Yeah. Oh, Sam, it's from Met Super Metroid. <laughs> And look at Super Mario Bros. 3. Holy crap. I'm not gonna spend money on that because it looks like it's $65, wow. They're expensive. I, mean, yeah. I really wanted to buy one of them, but unfortunately I can't. Oh well. There are Sonic the Hedgehog, but where's number two? This is a title screen. Well, the, yeah, I know it's kind of weird, but yeah, it's something cool. Yes. Yeah. All right, so uh, you scan this. Wow. So you can see, you can see oh, that's amazing. You see that? It already goes like that? Wow. Isn't that amazing? Oh, yeah. Cool, oh, right? It's coming out of the speaker. Oh, do you mind doing Sonic 3 and Knuckles? Like Sonic Hedgehog 3. Yeah. Okay, never mind. Okay, I got these. Okay. Okay. Okay, so she's scanning it right now. Yeah, check this out. It's like it's like a video game photo. It's not just a photo. How did it do that? Well, he, um, I think you just you scan it like right on this screen right there. You know, like um, he used one of these phones right there and he scan it. If you want seven, then we can ask him. You know, if you, you want to try, you know, one of these uh, things, and then he can scan it. Okay. Oh, it doesn't it doesn't work on yours. Oh, it's um, oh that's right. There was fake phone problem. I don't know if my iPhone would work. <laughs> Okay, so they have like a uh, princess stuff. stuff. Excuse me, sorry. Sorry. Oh, uh, look, your favorite game. Yep. They have it a lot there. Yeah. And original Legend of Zelda. Okay, so I watched about Mad Little Abyssal. Yeah, they have like a dapper stuff. There you go, Thank you well, guys, very much. Yeah. the moment we'll be ready for for revealing. That's right. Wait, did you make this I never drive so 64. Like, That's the one I used to record my videos. Like, yeah, I had that while ago. It's, it feels just like you're playing N64. Never drives the best one to play N64 games. Like, really, the actual hardware. And this is the HDMI, like, for Super Mario 64, for example. I might go back and let's play this uh, one day. That's it. Yeah, I heard about. I heard this is pretty good. Yeah, pull it out. Yeah, very. Feel it. Well, it's a very expensive item. Feel it. Feel the weight. Feel how wonderful that feels. It does it. Yeah. She wants it. <laughs> she wants it. Oh my God! It's yeah, I've been so watching. Cool. I've been watching this on YouTube. Like, Tom talks about it. Yeah, no, we've been very lucky to have a bunch of people check it out and try it. And people saying really nice things. Yeah. If you play it, if you play it, you can try playing it. Okay, so Johnny's playing on Super Mario 64 with this. Which is this guy right back here. Just a plug and play adapter. Alright, guys, we, if you want to see a full cool scene of me playing, I will showcase it sometime in my second episode. But now it's just a test about the, about the Everdrive and also the HDMI. And now, do you 
prefer the slick mode on, or do you prefer? It didn't matter. So we're on Amazon for one. Well, this is without the slick mode. This is 164. Just came out this week. Yeah, you noticed they changed the colors. Yeah, I played this millions of times, and yeah, it brings back our childhood. This is not my favorite uh, buttons. So it's not your favorite? Yeah. Oh, what else I like red controllers, so red controllers is my favorite. Yeah. Okay. Like red. Yeah, exactly. Daddy and mommy were kids. There it is, guys. You get to see me play Everdrive. Some no, just like slick mode. Some like it, some don't. So now you have it in. Yeah. Which is which is stretched. It's not the original resolution, but some people really love it. Yeah. Oh, I like the stretch. Okay. So you can do it. All right, guys. So I'm seeing you. this is for example, but I will do it for less play whenever I get a chance. I don't know if I'm going to get the HDMI, but it's going to go to the original. You need this. You really, really need this. <laughs> if I can afford one. All right, that's my that's my preview about the HDMI. There, you go. Okay, there we go. All right, thanks for helping. All right, welcome to. Oh, this is the hard pad. This is more like a. Talk about hard pads instead of the soft pad. Yeah, yeah. I remember you. Yeah, PC gaming. That's why I always play. Yeah, this, game, this game's amazing. Okay, so I can't showcase this one because it's copyright music. <laughs> Oh no. I hope I don't get copyright. It's fire it's Dragon Force. Yeah. You should don't copyright me. It's, it's the Dragon Force back where I can hear it. Yeah. I'll make it fast. And here's the Nintendo Switch. Here's the PS3. And here's the Tar. Alright, it's another Nintendo Switch. Alright, so this is called Hero. This is the game we play. But unfortunately, I couldn't show you guys because I don't want to get copyrighted from music. Yeah. yeah, this is this is on uh, PC. I was thinking about customizing and play Guitar Hero. Like, making it like Guitar Hero, but that's a couple. Yeah, earlier when we did the last time when we uh, played um, in the two player, God, I suck. That's because I haven't yeah. played it in so long, so. Yeah, okay. I really wish I could record it, but I don't want to get copyrighted. But anyway, yeah, that's the game I play. This is really good. I need to go back to my roots of playing Guitar Hero. All 
All right, guys. So this is the best super cost of You know why? Because oh, I can't show you guys right now because someone played one time. You change it, they change the tile screen. Like that's amazing. It makes it feel like a real arcade. That's really awesome. Yeah. So yeah, this is a custom arcade. I really enjoy it. Well, I wish we had a custom arcade like this for the game room. Like you change the titles instead of one title. That's why I checked. Yeah, all you can play arcade games. And here's another one, a custom arcade from Long Island. The one Sam Matt plays. Yes. I think this is one of those places where I took a picture. Oh, yeah. Here it is, guys, the, the HD uh, clone of Super Nintendo. Very, very expensive the Super Nintendo console. We got one more table. We got two of them. Oh, nice. YouTubers get 10% off. As you guys know, I was wrong. That's a different Super Nintendo. It's not customized as, as I thought. Those are retro. Okay, I'll look for the 8 bit doll ones. Yes, sir. There it is, guys. It's the old Apple and also the old Apple like computer. Mo computer. Monitor. I think this is the first Apple monitor. Or yeah, that time was bad, and then now the modern ones it was better. Like, and, this, and look at this. Oh my God! My baby used to have that. That speaking man. There is a. Yeah. Now we're going to like eating toys. Like, yeah. Everything in the eighties. Okay, so this is the museum. Well, guys, I wanted to record the show, but unfortunately, yeah, it's too crowded and it's a lot of place. I may not record every scene. Yeah, and, just, and I, I keep, you know, I just don't want to go, I don't want to disappear because yeah. if this is crowded, we have to stay together, so do not leave me behind, okay? Okay. Yeah, Sonic from Dreamcast, the original Sonic. Um, you guys have one? I'll pass. I'm just gonna put my bag in here. Alright, so she's trying out the Smash Bros. Melee. I've been wanting her to showcase this game for so long after she did the first one. It's not my favorite because I'm not a fan of transparent like, guitars. I know I have one like Virtual Fires, which is the purple one. The controllers, like, this game kind of rusty because it's all Smash Brothers. Yeah. Some of these controllers are having a hard time. It's a lot. It's a lot. Yeah. Because I'm used to using controllers, like, in the She tried her best, so nice. Yeah, if I, I haven't 
play this in so long, so I apologize. Yeah. <laughs> Banjo Kazooie, good game. One more thing to sightseeing is the tour guide. Oh, yeah. Alright, right, so this is Castle Land free play. Like. Yeah. Which, um, compared to very frustrating. Uh, oh, sorry, Sam. Yeah. It used to be in that hall over there. There it is, free, yeah, free play arcades. Yeah, yeah. Very cool. Alright, man. Yeah, it's like I'm back, you know, from 1900s to 80, 1900s, like 90s and 2000s. It's, it's actually in the 80s, um, back yeah. in the 80s. And, oh, yeah. yeah. Check this out, the Mario Brothers 2, This controller is really bad. And you know, and you know why I was having trouble trying to dash? 
Alright, we just finished the Retro Gaming Expo. Uh, yeah, I'm on a different shirt because uh, this is really the next day already. Yeah, uh, we're sorry that we forgot the last part. It's because, well, we personal problems. But other than that, I actually enjoyed the Retro Gaming Expo from, you know, um, this year. Unfortunately, we forgot to buy stuff and, and we realized Matt came late with his staff. So he bought stuff already, which i actually glad. You talk to him about this. Yeah, I home. forgot to get the t-shirts because they were selling t-shirts earlier. Mm -hmm. Oh, I was looking for Retro Fighters and couldn't ever drive. But unfortunately, it was a fail because it was like so crowded and we couldn't find it. It could be like anywhere. Yes. Anyway, uh, that's a, that's the vlog of Retro Gaming Expo. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more of my future content. Subscribe to Sam. Both of her channels will be in the description below. And we'll see you guys later. Marty Fangirl 93 out.